Oh, look at that. Look at it. That is amazing. Look at all those lovely teams. Hello. Hello, lovely teams. Let's have a look at the, the rules. Oh, there it is. Try list match rules. Let's have a look at the transfer rule. Look at the transfer. Look how simple the transfer. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'm going to need me tissues for this one. Oh, yes. Look how simple they are. Man, what the fuck? Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to Club 4, episode 22 of The Journeyman. And today is a just a massive episode. This is kind of a season-defining episode. So today we are playing Juventus away in the league and then Bordeaux in the second leg of the quarterfinal of Europa League. Um, if we look at the table, Juventus 66 points, right? If we beat them today, we go six points clear with five games left. That should be enough... Unless we properly, proper bottle job it. We've got some pretty shitty teams down here to play. It should be enough to get us Champions League football, right? That would be huge. Just for reputation alone, that'll give us a nice bonus. Also, we've got the... if it, And if we lose, we're back into the Europa League fight here. Which which I don't want to be in. I don't want to be in. It looks like we're almost guaranteed top four at this stage. But I want three. I want the top three. And then we're playing um, the Europa League group. Obviously, the winner of the Europa League gets into the Champions League as well. So we've got two possible options. This is not more. This is not so much about the few next season. It's more about my reputation, okay? Because I am leaving at the end of this season. I've, I just, I, I want to leave at the end of this season. It's definitely going to happen unless there was literally sort of no jobs about and everything. Um, if we have a look at the job centre now, it's pretty slim pickings, but that's a, it's a weird time of the league. There's Getafe, um, but they're not very well off in this because the Spanish league is, is another option. Germany or Spain are my favourite two options, but um, Getafe aren't very, they're 17th in the league. They're almost going to be relegated. They've not got any money to spend. Um, the trouble with the TV and prize money in Spain is that it gets really top heavy. So the top four teams get nearly all the money so whereas Germany spreads it about a bit like a some poor hooker um so right let's get on play let's play Juventus then shall we if we beat them we're golden we are absolutely golden if we lose we're still we're still above them I think on goal difference though that gets a little bit scary that point okay don't want to change too much here Delaney's back from injury but his match sharpness is pretty horrific uh, Belletti not been performing well, so we've put him back to his normal, his favoured target man attack, top of the Christmas tree. He is the fairy on the Christmas tree. Somebody said in the comments that he, because Belletti's like a giant of a man, he's six foot eight. Belletti just got, oh, the only word Belletti says is Belletti, like Hodor. He's like, Belletti. That's, that's it. He says that to everything. Hopefully we can get him back in the goals. Chris Colo is playing disappointing. Actually, we're going to have a word with him. Oi, Chris Colo, mate. You're a good player. But uh, sort your form out, yeah? Um, try and pick yourself up. You know, softly, softly. Can't argue with that, but I'm certain I can improve. First time, it's like softly, softly. If he's still shit for another like couple of games, then we go, look, mate, or you're going to get dropped. That's kind of how I do it. It actually works quite well. Okay, we've only... We, we've beaten them three times in 22... My fucking hell. 22 <laughs> matches. Okay, great. I'm not going to look at their key man. Don't look at it. Don't look at the bottom. Okay, we don't want to know who their key man is or how good he is. I'm tempted now. I've just tempted. I've just tempted myself. No, I'm not going to look. Right. Are we favourites? Yes. Oh fucking hell, we are. Oh, it's a home. It's a home. I thought it was away for some reason. Brain fart. Okay. Oh look, I've looked. Kurt Zuma. It's Kurt Zuma. Now, now I might as well look at him. He's decent. He's not a world beater. Juventus look like they've they've not had a good season because they were absolutely dominant last season. Um, first, second, first, second, first. Look, that they've been pretty good. Have they had to sell some? Wow, they've sold 149 million pounds worth of players. That will probably hurt your team. Junior went for 33 to China. 26 Batuba. Uh, oh, look, they've sold so much of their team. 26 million Paris Saint-Germain. Wow. Okay. That'll probably be why then. Okay. We beat them. Both come in as good form. Yep. 
How much of a boost is Zhao Mario's? Oh, it makes things easier. Uh, do you worry your team might struggle due to the continental hangover effect? Um, no. The players are raring to go. I'm not going to give excuses. Oh, they've got Isco, Isco, Isco. Right. Pick up where you left off. Apparently, in the um, you know the like the press conference like a day before the match, which I send my assistant to because I can't be asked with answering the same questions. Yap Stam stormed out of the interview. I don't know why. Didn't say why, and and that they called him childish. <laughs> I was like applauding him. Good on you, mate. Good on you. All right, here we go. It's goal time. We're gonna win this one. A comfortable three one. Hmm? Optimism. Belletti! Get in there! Woohoo! 25 seconds gone. We're 1 0 up. This is it, boys. Like, let's not get overconfident. I keep doing it. Connor up with the assist. Just aims for his head, but he's so tall it, he just kicked it. A normal person, he would have had to head of that, but Belletti's like, yeah, that's, you know, waste I made. Oh, and I'll just, just side foot it in. Well, not a bad start to the game then, boys. Oh, this would be amazing. This would almost not guarantee it. Oh, we go second as well. Oh, they've got an injury. Lovely. Um, this would almost guarantee us Champions League football, I feel. Go on. Go on, Belletti. What's he got? What's he got, big man? Rita. Lovely. Lundberg. Oh, he's hit the right in the corner there. And Juventus are floundering. Yeah, look, still 12 points off top. We can ignore that. Oh, come on. Champions League football people. We do need a second goal. Due to our high, sort of high pressing system, balls over the top can be dangerous. I'm, I'm watching this guy here. <laughs> Go away. That's it. Drop deep to get the ball. That's perfect. Okay, there's a man there. I'm, I'm clicking the runners so you can see them, team. What about him? Him up there. Look, look. Okay, this is dangerous. Oh, no. Bad. 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 Mm, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Martin Muller. Okay. I shouldn't have got cocky. Why did I do it? I watched the Man City um, Monaco match last night. Amazing game. Lots of goals. One of my... Oh, BT Sport. And their fucking commentary team are fucking awful. It's not so much the commentators, it's the little, what they call them, the, the colour commentators. Stephen Manham, I loved him as a footballer as a kid. Big, obviously, Liverpool fan. He was one of my favourites growing up. But fucking hell, he is not a good commentator. The fact is that they didn't... Anyone that argues that Aguero didn't dive is an idiot. I don't normally say that in such absolutes, but it's fucking clear. I can understand at the time you might go, oh, that's, you know, that's a penalty. But the fact is, you see it on the slow-mo, he's already falling into him. Both feet are off the ground. He's already leaning forward. He's just going to, I'm going to fall on you. That is not a penalty, okay? Not a penalty. Plus, the goalkeeper got the ball. But apart from that, it was, a, you know, it was ridiculous. And both the commentator and Steve McManaman, even after the replays, were like, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 oh, Belletti! Connor up Belletti partnership is golden, even after they saw the replays, they were still like, no, that's that should be a penalty. Or or it shouldn't be a penalty, but he got the ball, so it shouldn't be a yellow card for diving. It's like, he dived. Fuck's sake, he dived. I like Aguero. Doesn't stop him diving. I'm quite happy to spot and say when a Liverpool player dives, it was beyond the fact you can see all those replays and still think that that wasn't a dive. You can't You can't jump into someone and say that they fouled you. That's not how it works. Right, two one at half time. Belletti with a brace, Connor up with a brace of assists. The dream Danish Italian partnership. All right, kick on in the second half. I want to get a two goal lead because we are we we're much like Liverpool. We're not the best defensively, but we do score goals for fun. All right, just munch him. That's it, party. Get a leg in. That's it. Oh ref, he's doing the long walk. It's the long walk. Oh, <laughs> just he's, just tell him to settle down. Ah, didn't need a yellow card. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Ain't no party like a Tom's party. 
Right, we're on top of this. We've not created good chances, though. I'm a little bit worried. We've got all the possession. We've got... Oh, no, Rita's on the yellow card. Okay, this is Berardi. No, no. Oh, he's at the post. It's so, so okay. It's so okay. We've got two of our vulnerable players on yellow cards. We're definitely going to have to fix that, I think. Give it five more minutes. Um, Pedroshi's got yellow carded. Okay. Oh, no, no. We're going to have to watch the highlight first. We don't know what's going to happen. Go on. Push him back. Push him all the way back. That's it. Keep pushing back. That's it. Oh, no. We're, we're kicking the other way now, aren't we? <laughs> oh, look at the overload. The overload. What a save, Fresh Prince. I thought we were shooting the other way. Hello, I'm fucking manager. Jesus. Right. As soon as we, as soon as we clear this away. And go on, Van Doom. Okay, somebody needs to just get a foot around it and just hoof it. Come on. Oh, he stamped on the back of him. <laughs> Belletti. Ah, Belletti. Right, stop. Hammer time. Okay. Thomas Delaney is coming back in after his lengthy spell out. He was superb before he left us, but now he's back to play the last few games. Could be a big impact. And then we're going to play Nicolo de Pascal's. Get the two vulnerable players. Drop it to counter. Go to the calm. Concentrate. We're bringing out all the big guns now. I might even, I'm, I'm even tempted to just change this tactics up a little bit. And I'm just going to say, just drop a little deeper. Just because I'm wary of those, if they go a bit long ball-y. Okay. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, that's a, f oh, Connor has been sent off. Oh, you were the safe one, Connor up. You were the one that's, that was going to be all right on a yellow card. Okay, that is officially bad. Um... Persistent fouling. Oh, dear. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Catalano can play left back. I don't want to play Personi because he got himself sent off. Right, Chris Colo, have you had a better game? Not really, mate. Not really. A little bit disappointed there. Okay. So, how long have we got left? 15 minutes. I think we're going to just have to go all out defend. Not all out defend. Just a bit more defendery. That is a word. Okay, defend this free kick, and then we survive for the next 13 minutes. Good header away. Delaney heads it on. It's going to come straight back, though. This is the one we need to defend, boys. Yes! Yes! That's what we do! Come on! Oh, come on. Come on. Five minutes left. Is this our highlight? Is this Van Doom? We know he's got a ping in him, but he's just unselfishly played it to Lundberg. Delaney. Back to Van Doom. They're trying to set him up for a long-range pinger. Belletti for that. He's on a hat trick. Don't shoot from there, though, mate. I know you want your hat trick, but just just keep it lovely. Pedroshi, Delaney, Van Doom threads it through. Belletti from a tight angle. No, no, Belletti. Two minutes left. Come on. Yes, come on. There's no time left. Fuck off, referee. There it is. Get in there. Deserved win. Ten men at the end. We still managed to beat them. Belletti, man of the match. One of the things I love about Belletti is that I'm not normally a massive fan of target men um, in FM. And But the good thing about him is that he's just so well-rounded. He's not just like a big stick figure in the air. He's actually a decent all-round player as well, so... Loving that. Loving that, boys. Okay, we've got a couple of suspensions for next game. Nothing to worry about. How long is Alvinini out for? Um, Another 10 days. Okay, yeah. There it is. League table. Oh, we're up to second. It's beautiful. Right, on to the Bordeaux game. We, we're 2-0 up from the first leg. We cannot let... We should beat them. They were pretty rubbish. Let's, let's just beat them. Move on. Okay. Right, here we go. Second leg. What have we got? What have we got going on here, boys? Um, we've already got seven subs, so we need to be careful of that. Um, Catalano is going to play at left back. It's not ideal at all, but it is our only choice, really, other than playing that shit youth player. <clears throat> um, Delaney can go on the bench. Good. You can go there. Posterino. On the bench, he's not back. He's not really fit to play, but you know, suck it up, bitch. Right, um, I think we're good to go. 
I've just dropped um, Chris Colo into an attacking midfielder support from attack. Just to see if he gets a bit more involved. That's what I'm hoping. We should win this comfortably. I, I shouldn't say that. I, I'm, I know I'm getting too cocky with Lazio. That's the problem. I can't look beyond Lazio. We're even favourites. Horn is there. He didn't do anything last game, did he, Horn? Um, yeah, I'd rather have him available. Uh, not at all. Um, they, they're professional players. We always try to attack where... Oh, my Lord, they're going out. They're coming out fire, fire in, fire in. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine, mate. You, we're going to crush you. We can't just say nothing, Japstan. That's not how team talks work. I'm going confident. Lovely, lovely. There we go. <sighs> Two nil up from the first leg. Two away goals. This this should be should be, it should be all right, shouldn't it? it mm? Let's watch the first twenty minutes, and then we'll see how confident we feel. Right, it'd be interesting to see how Catalano does at left back. It's not ideal. Party gets the ah, come on, party. You're not allowed to get tackled. Oh, I'm watching the ball. Okay, don't score in the first minute though. That would be awkward. Yeah, they've gone and scored in the first minute, haven't they? Okay, okay, that's just a blip. It's a little blip. We'll slow off the marks. It's fine. That's a decent ball over the top. Keeper comes out, decides not to sort of try and save it or anything. Just sort of run out and go... Oh, he's doing his yoga pose. Okay. <laughs> it's not the ideal start, that one. Oh, I'm going to be so gutted if we go out. I am going to be so gutted. Ref, referee, that's disgusting. Send him off twice over. Oh, didn't really see much in it. Yeah, yellow card. Here we go. Well, edge of the box is free. Belletti dinked into the back pose. Paul Lopez. Oh, no, this is not going to be their highlight, is it? They can't score twice in 11 minutes. Right, win this header. Win this header. For the love of God. Oh, no. He's not won the header. Oh, God. Oh, no. Who was it who missed that header? Oh, two players went for it. Rita's there, which is not ideal, but who went for it as well? Catalan. No, my <laughs> My left back and right back both went for the same header. It's unusual. It's different. Right, it's okay. It's nil-nil. Now let's win this game, right? Rita fires it across. Lundberg. Lundberg! Yes! That's more like it, son. Stop the rot. 12 minutes. We've hit back straight away. Oh, God, this is going to be like a Man City Monaco game, isn't it? 12 minutes gone. It's 2-1. If they score now, though, they're winning on away goals. That's the only problem here. Lundberg with a great touch. Left peg, wrong foot's the keeper. Ah, oh, jeez. The art can't take it. Like 18 minutes gone, another highlight. Van Doom. That's a poor pass, but he's got it back again. Belletti, ah. Oh, oh, mistake, no. Watch for the ball over the top. Oh, no, we're getting, we've got to sort that out. We've got to get, we've got to drop the line deeper. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a brilliant shot. Little ripple. Wait, wait, wait. Need to fix that. They are. They found our weakness, which is basically much like a playing against Liverpool. Just hoof it. Just hoof it. Because we suck at that. We suck at defending that. Okay. Drop the back line a little bit deeper. We're still ahead. All is good. We're going to score another one here. Near post flick on. Yeah! Sokna, the big centre-back with his second goal of the season. It's 2-2 after 26 minutes. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Look at that. Free as a bird at the near post. Lovely little flick, Tedder. Oh, and he's, he's loving it. He's like, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, good bit of defending there. Who's that? Pedroshi defending well. They're blocking the shot. We're not even filling the stadium for a quarter fight. It's Europa League still, I suppose, though, isn't it, at the end of the day. 
Uh, Bailey. Oh, that looked like a bit of a stampy McStamp. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, 50-50 ball. Okay, can we just get it to half time without any more goals? Uh, I'll be fine with that. Right. The players have showed good character to go from going 2 0 down to coming back. Uh, Yap Stam is just like not having anything to do with it. Anything we say now? No. No, no Yap. Um, keep focused. Okay, that's just stressed him out. Mancini is stressed out. Brilliant. Everybody else loved it, though. All right. Okay, I could, I have no idea what's going to happen in the second half at all. Not got a Scooby Doo. I feel like if we can get another goal, then that should be enough. <laughs> or it's going to be one of those halves of football where nothing at all happens. I'll take that as well. Like right, Horn, we know he's dangerous, and that's a lovely ball down the line. He's chasing it. Ogner's getting there. Oh, he's beating him out for strength. Oh, it's a tapping. Ogner sort of went across, and then he sort of thought it was second of it, and then he came back in again. He sort of he went, and then he went. Uh, uh, he wasn't quite sure. He had to make the tackle. He's pulled himself right out of position. Oh, it's, if they score one more, they go through on away goals. What is this game? What is this game? Oh, don't fucking do it. Don't do it. Good tackle. Now break. Yes, like it. Chris Colo. Lovely ball. Catalano. Don't do not do too much, mate. You're not used to playing there. Van Doom. Got space with Rita on this right if he wants to clear it. Belletti's coming back, dropping deep. Fires it to Rita. Rita has got can beat his man. He does, just drifts past him. Belletti takes the touch, tries to find an angle. Nah, too many defenders in the way. That's fine, though. Good attack. Can we score another set-piece goal? That'll do. Pedroshi with the uh, cornery thing, whatever that is. It's into the mixer. Okay, dangerous. Dangerous times, people. Dangerous times. Good, good. The highlight just ends. Van Doom is getting very, very tired. Um, we don't really have much options, so just suck it up and play on. Um, goalkeeper's having a bit of a mare. Um, no, I'm not changing it. Oh, God. Right. Do I go defensively now? 13 minutes left. I don't want to go defensively, but I'm just going to go counter-attacking and then just say calm, concentrate. That's it. And maybe we make... Uh, Rita's booked. Rita is booked. Get him off. Get him off. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> um, good to see Chris Cola get the assist, though, as well. That's, that's nice. Right, let's just use these subs to time waste. Um, Gobbo for... Pedroshi. Time wasting across the universe. And last one, Jean-Claude Van Damme for Gino Belletti. This is it. If they score, they go through. If they don't, we win. There's no in-between. It's about five minutes left in total. We've made all our subs. We've done all we can. We could go defensive, I suppose. I'm not sure if it's going to make a difference. Yes, yes, yes. There's not enough time, is there? We've got the ball. Come on. Not the way we wanted to do it. This is a pretty horrendous game of football, all, all told. But we've scraped through. Thank fuck for that. That was... Oh, Japstam still not having anything to do with it. I'm going to... Oh, I'm tempted to go that. I mean, I am. We played shit. We played shit. We beat him two deal away. It was easy. They obviously, they changed their tactics up because that long ball, they weren't doing that in the first leg and that, that hurt us quite a lot. Luckily, there's not many teams in Italy that seem to play that sort of long counter-attack ball type stuff. So it, it's okay for us. Oh, look at that. Mane. Mane, 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 Mane. We're still... It's always two million in debt. We got fifty one million pounds to spend. <laughs> I'm just gonna spend it. Shall I just before I leave? No, I'm not that sort of player. 
I'm not that sort of FM player. I was thinking before we leave, we just sign somebody for fifty million pounds. No, no, I'm not. I'm not that guy, man. Where is all the money gone? Player wages, four and a half million pounds a month. That hurts. A million pound in bonuses. Loan is three quarters of a million. Um, some money on transfers, but that's okay. We we counted for that. Oh, look at it. loyalty bonuses. Staff wages half a million. Match day expense. It's just ten million pounds. It's just so expensive. TV revenue. Look, it's the sort of players sold. We're getting paid one point nine million pounds a month in players sold over monthly fees, which is crazy. And we've got a million pound in prize money. We can't rely on prize money to keep us afloat every month. Right, my friends, let's have a look at let's have a look at the old uh schedule. <clears throat> so we've got five games of the season left. I think I think what I'll do is I'll play Palermo and Genoa offline, and then we'll come back for to play Unknown in the Europa Cup semi-final in Atlanta next episode. And then the final episode of the season will be a three-game episode, unless it doesn't matter, the last game or whatever. But we'll, we'll play those. I think that makes sense. Right, there we go, guys. We're through. We beat Juventus. And then we scraped, get through against Bordeaux, which was just horrific. But we did it. Mission accomplished. Let's move on to the next game. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.